putting their health at risk for a paycheck. These hotel workers say the reopening came too soon. I feel my life is at risk because I spend a lot of time cleaning and disinfecting these areas that are still a risk to the guests and myself. I provide for my three children and working in these dangerous conditions, I'm terrified of bringing this home. Dozens of hotel employees have come out to protest in downtown Los Angeles, calling on their employer to shut down the operations here at the hotel where they work. They say despite all the safety regulations, they still feel exposed and that they don't feel safe coming to work every day. Refusing to work would not only deprive them from unemployment pay, but also revoke their access to health insurance right in the middle of a pandemic. It's time for the government to step in and we're asking for them to uh, pause the reopening of hotels. It is not safe and it's appalling that the narrative that corporations are saying is people want to be heroes. Poor people have no choice but to work. The Latino community seems to have been disproportionately impacted by COVID-19 as they make up about 34 percent of cases nationwide, although they are only 18 percent of the population, according to the Centers for Disease Control. A matter made more complicated because Latinos comprise a higher representation in the so-called essential workforce. I was one of the, uh, maybe one of the worst ones because I had to go to the hospital. Jose is among at least 153 employees who contracted the virus in this meatpacking plant. By far the largest outbreak in Los Angeles County to occur outside of a nursing home, prison or other residential setting, according to the Los Angeles Times. I kept telling the company to provide us with uh, what we need in order to, to keep working because meat companies, uh, because of the... Uh, president's order, we're not going to stop. And, and people were so afraid to come to work. They wanted the company to close for at least two weeks. It was never closed, and employees say protections came too late. Jose has also infected his wife, and he's still using oxygen tanks to cope with breeding problems. If and when he recovers, he may have to go back to work. It's not an option for anybody, because we cannot afford to, to stay at home. You know, as uh, Latinos, uh, we have to work to survive. Some hail them as heroes, keeping essential businesses up and running, but they feel more like hostages. It is Tian Shan, CGTN, Los Angeles.